Good afternoon from my car. So as you can see, I am driving. I'm going, I'm at a stoplight. But um, I am headed to LA, to California, to be on the Wheel of Fortune. So by the time this um, is posted, I will, the show will probably have aired or will be allowed to air. I'm not supposed to talk about it. So very few people know. Um, it is Tuesday, August 31st. I am headed to the flight. It is almost five o'clock. My flight is at 6.30. I'm running a little bit late. Um, and I'm headed to LA from Fort Lauderdale and I'm shooting on September 2nd. The reason why I'm flying out on August 31st is because I have to take a COVID test on September 1st, the day before. I already took a COVID test here. Um, I got approval. I'm flying out. So that is why I'm headed out. So I was supposed to shoot. I auditioned in November of 2019. I was supposed to shoot March 25th, 2020. And three days before it got canceled. So um, obviously we know what happened. Uh, I got an email two weeks ago saying, actually 10 days ago, saying um, we want you to be on the show September 2nd. Can you be there? So fortunately, I have an amazing boss. I have an amazing company. They were super supportive. So I'm flying out. I'll be working from my hotel room tomorrow in California and flying out to LA. And I go to, um, to I film on September 2nd. So uh, I'm driving now, so I'll be back. So anyway, as I was saying, um, I am about to, I'm driving to the Fort Lauderdale airport, gonna fly out tonight, getting there, working from um, LA tomorrow, and I will be um, taking my COVID test. So I'm gonna film as much as I can. I'm actually just vlogging on my phone. I'm not bringing my regular camera because I know there's not much we can film. They take our phones away during, um, while we're there. So there's not much I'm gonna be able to film. I'm gonna film as much as I can of my little trip going to LA. Um, I hate flying, I hate flying. So uh, I hate flying, especially right now, but I hate flying normally. So I, I'm really just kind of really nervous, but um, that's it. So I'm gonna vlog as much as I can and uh, you know, join me. Okay, so I made it to the airport. It is 528. My flight is at 625. I've parked. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. I'm ready to go to California. Really nervous. I hate flying again. I've said that before. Um, really nervous about being on the show. I really haven't practiced or studied or anything. So my, my main goal is to not be the big loser on the show. Um, I, I guess that's that's my only goal but my goal is just really honestly to have fun have a good time um and if i win some money great so i'm at the airport i'm at the gate and i'm about to board there you can see los angeles 6 32. here i am i am over here not uh, right there by the window so i'm on the plane Five and a half hours later, didn't sleep a wink. Um, just watched a bunch of movies and now going to get my rental car. So it took me a little while to figure out where the rental car place was. So I could pick up the shuttle, but now I'm here. So it's only taken almost 30 minutes, but there's finally a Hertz shuttle. There was only like seven and eight for everyone else, and there was none for Hertz. So it is 10:30 at night. I'm finally in my rental car at Hertz. Um, it was like I don't know. There was just no no shuttles, uh, and then it wasn't too bad when I got here. They were pretty fast. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna drive. It's 1:30 in the morning my time, so I'm really tired. But uh, gonna head over to the hotel now. So good morning from the Four Point Sheridan in Culver City. This is um, the hotel that I suggest, and there's a rate for it. So this is where everybody, I guess, usually stays. Um, I am actually now headed out to get. Um, my COVID test. So that's why I had to fly in a day early. So that's why I'm walking out <laughs> to go and get my COVID test. And let me show you a little bit of the hotel. It's actually pretty nice. So I'm actually on the first floor. So that's the first floor. And then there's the gym. I had every intention to go to the gym today. 
but I still had to work. So it's actually a pretty nice little gym. Maybe I'll still make it, I don't know. And then here's the elevators. And then it's the lobby. And here are my flip flops. And there's a restaurant over here. And there's a pool, it's gonna be right out there. And I'm not sure what all that is, but there's a restaurant. And then they have a little convenience center here um, where I was able to get a meal last night and some soda and some water. Nice little hotel. And then right outside, right across the street is a mall. So super convenient. There's a Target, there's an Ulta. Um, I don't think I'm gonna need anything, but it's good if you do. So according to Waze, it's um, like less than 10 minutes, like two and a half miles away. So I'm not gonna record because I need to, uh, my directions are gonna be on my phone and I'm using my phone to record, but um, really close. It might, my appointment for my uh, COVID test is at one. It's actually a little over 12. I just don't wanna be late. <laughs> so I don't wanna miss it. I don't wanna not be on the show because I didn't get my COVID test done. So I'd rather be early and sit there and wait than just wait in my hotel room. So I'm just trying to find the entrance. All of that is Sony Pictures, but I am just trying to find the entrance because there's a couple entrances, but we were supposed to go to a certain one. And here it is. So I'm on Culver Boulevard and that's Motor. So I think this is where I'm supposed to be. Let's hope. Welcome to Sony Pictures, visitors and trucks. Here we go. They're directing us of where we need to go. And as you can see, there's a lot of productions going on. I guess this is where they have all the craft services. And here's where the COVID testing is taking place on the second floor of the parking garage. So I, that's it. I did my COVID test super easy. Um, there was no line. My appointment was at one and I got there like at 1225, but they were still able to see me, which was great. So I didn't have to wait, walked in. Um, it's a self, self swab, but they have someone watching you <laughs> to do it. Um, you know, just kind of standard if you've taken a test, of, it's pretty much the same thing. And uh, they're supposed to notify us, um, production will notify us to give us the all clear. But, you know, pretty impressive with the way they have it set up because it looks like all crew, everyone has to get tested the day before production. So definitely, definitely <laughs> taking every precaution to make sure the set is safe. So I know tomorrow, a lot of this, you can kind of see the craft tables over there. I know tomorrow they did say this is where we take a lot of breaks so that way we're outdoors. Um, but I know I'll probably won't have my phone and be able to record. So kind of see the area, but it's nice and cool in here. It's California, it's not Florida hot, so it's nice. <laughs> and there you can see Sony Picture Studios. Pretty cool. I'll be back here tomorrow. So that's it, I'm done for today. I have to be back here tomorrow at 7 a.m. Um, and I'm gonna go get some food because I am starving. Good morning from LA, from Four Points. I am obviously getting ready. Realized I hadn't started to film. So yesterday, just kind of wrapped up the day, chilled, and I went to bed really early. So I went to bed like 7.30 LA time, which was 10.30 my time. Um, it is, I woke up at 4.15, it's 4.30 now. I've already taken a shower. Obviously, I'm prepping my eyes. My eyes are not ready. Um, got a cup of coffee, gonna get ready. I have to be there by 6.45. Um, we have to be, like they suggest getting there, we have to be like ready to go at 7 a.m. So I wanna, I'm gonna try and leave like 6.20. It's only a 10 minute drive and I don't expect much traffic at this time, I don't know. But gonna try and get there early. I don't wanna be late. My COVID results didn't come in until like 3 a.m. and I woke up and I just happened to check my email and I saw it. Uh, that was just nerve wracking. I pretty much knew I was negative, but it was a little nerve wracking because I'm here to see if I was negative or not. I am negative, um, so that was good. I'm all set, so now I'm just gonna get ready. Um, I've got a little under two hours to get ready and head over to the studio. Okay, so it is 6.25. I did really good time. Um, I'm about to head out. My hair's a little messy, but um, they have hair and makeup artists there, but they did say to come, and, you know, do our own and they'll like touch us up. Uh, just definitely because of masks, they're, there's limited to what they could do. So excited, really nervous. Um, I'm probably not going to be able to film too much after this. I think they take our phones away, um, but I will come back at the end and kind of Okay, so it's 6.30 in the morning, I'm headed out, so I should be good. 
I have a feeling that these people are, I wonder what these people are doing. So I'm here in the waiting area, which is in the parking lot. And we're all socially distanced and I got my N95 mask. I also picked up two contestants at the hotel who were waiting for an Uber. So I picked them up on the way here, <laughs> which was fun. This is the waiting area, as you can see, we're all socially distanced. All wearing N95 masks. Ready to go. So this is our little COVID kit. We have to carry it with us at all times. Tissues, an N95 mask, some alcohol wipes, and antibacterial. Let's scampered into place, and here we go. I have to get a shot of you scampering one day. Shannon. Hollywood, Florida. Yeah, that's it. That didn't take long. No. Shannon Ford, Pembroke Pines, Florida. Yep. Uh, let's see, uh, you're married, right? I am, to my wonderful husband, Ray, almost 11 years. Mm-hmm, one child? Yes, Ryder, he is five and a half. Can't oh. forget the half. Uh, yes, right. And uh, you played with the Miami, no, you were a cheerleader for the Miami <laughs> I Dolphins. I cheered for the Miami Dolphins, yes. Yeah, well, that's a pretty exciting <laughs> stuff. Uh, you actually have a lot of titles, former Miss Florida, USA, uh, yep. Mrs. United States. Yep. And now you're an HR manager. Now I'm an HR manager for an international CPA firm. All right, and life is good, I hope. Yes, very and, much. Uh, have a good half hour here. Nice Thank to have you. Here. Hi, Amanda. This is me at the hallway of Wheel of Fortune. Yay! Got my Shannon. And we've just wrapped. And it's been awesome. So this is the hallway. Hey, uh, we're going to bring challenge. I know, so this is right? everything. <laughs> it's really cool. We've been here. It is 6 o'clock. We've been here since 7 a.m. So that's the entrance to Wheel of Fortune. And that is Jeopardy. So we started there this morning and then ended here. So it's been 11 hours. There it is. Welcome to the Wheel of Fortune. So that's it. I have changed. I finished. Um, so kind of a little bit about today. Um, this is going to go up after the show has aired. So I'm not allowed to talk about it. So I'm not going to put it on. Uh, I did, if you watched, I won $6,000. I actually solved four puzzles, but I totally did a major screw up where I called the same vowel twice, like rookie mistake. Uh, my nerves got to me and I had gotten on the wedge that was the train wedge. It totally threw me off and I just got distracted and I made a rookie mistake, but I still ended up with $6,000. Really, really happy. What a fun day. Like just so much fun. The cast and the crew were incredible. Like Vanna came over to us while we were eating um early this morning and just was like hi i hope you guys all win no, not a stitch of makeup she's absolutely stunning just really sweet pat sajak was just really awesome um made everybody feel really comfortable and then it was we started at 7 a.m and we finished at 6 p.m so we've been together for 11 hours and you just really wanted to root for everybody and even the contestants amanda and dan from my show i was rooting for them like obviously i wanted to meet them because i wanted to win more money but i was generally happy um for them when they won as well so it really made the experience a lot of fun. Um, $6,000 I'm very happy with. Uh, my goal was at least, you know, to solve a puzzle. And I did that. And, you know, I said anything over 5,000 would be gravy. So this is awesome. My show uh, aired, so this is gonna go up October 21st. So this will probably go up the day after. Um, and then you don't get paid though uh, for four months. So I won't get my winnings until February of 2022. So just a really fun day. I, I will say they really make sure you know how to play like they go over the rules and they really want to make sure you feel comfortable I, I just I can't say enough about the entire experience it's just great um, the morning is rehearsals and you know doing promo shots hair and makeup which was fun and then they start filming at 12 and they film six shows and ours were all cities so we were all we knew which city we were in but then they draw for your placing. I was in place three, which was blue, which was great because I was wearing blue. Um, and then, 
they started filming at 12. They filmed three shows. Then there's lunch, and then they th filmed three more shows. So we finished right at six. Um, they didn't let us take pictures until right at the end and not of the set. We we're only allowed to take pictures in the hall, which is what you just saw. Um, but I also wanted to, my show was number four. So I shot fourth right after lunch. But I also wanted to root for the other two cities and um, because we had gotten to know everybody that day. So it was just a lot of fun to root for them and cheer for them. And the awesome thing that we realized at the end was that everybody solved a puzzle. Everybody walked away with money um, that they won, which was awesome. So it was just a really great experience. If you ever interested in applying, I would apply. They're doing what I'm understanding now. I did a live audition um, back in 2019, but what I'm understanding now is they are doing Zoom auditions. So I encourage you to audition. It's a lot of fun, really fun experience, long day. Like I said, it's six o'clock now and I'm headed to the airport, but my flight is until 11. So. I'm going to head to the airport. I'm going to splurge on a day pass at the Admiral Club and I'm going to have a glass of wine, maybe two. But um, anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really hope you enjoyed. Um, I will try and post some pictures of um, some promo shots of whatever I can get if I can at the end of this video. Um, actually, I'll try and post it right here. So hopefully there were some promo videos that if not, this just kind of seems silly. But anyway, great experience. So much fun. Um, I hope you like this video. Click like, click and subscribe, all of that jazz. And I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone. <laughs>